what I love and hate at PetSmart, treat and food edition. It's Shani, certified feline training and behavior specialist. Let's go check it out. Because I work in the shelter, I am working with thousands of cats who are stressed and anxious, and they oftentimes do not want to eat. So I have firsthand experience dealing with cats who either don't want to eat wet food or just don't want to eat. So here are some of the wet foods that I have had success with. Disclaimer, these are not the healthiest wet foods available. So before you get all angry and you want to comment and you want to tell me that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, again, I realize these are not the top of the top best wet foods. I am dealing with cats who refuse to eat. So this is going to be good for all of you people who say that your cat hates wet food. Have you tried these brands and flavors? First up is Sheba Perfect Portions. I have had the most success with this, the pate salmon variety, but I have also had success with the cuts and specifically with this bistro one. Next up is Fancy Feast Gravy Lovers, all of the varieties. Next is this Fancy Feast with cheese. We should not be feeding our cats cheese, but if you have a cat that is refusing wet food, I would certainly try this brand and flavor. I have had some success with Meow Mix, but it's mainly the fishy variety. Also this specific flavor of Fancy Feast Medleys. Tiki Cat is actually a really good brand and I've had success with cats who refuse to eat wet food, mainly with their heavy fish varieties. Same goes with Ruruva. Ruruva is a good brand and the most success I have had, again, is with their mainly fishy varieties. Sometimes these work, sometimes these work. A little bit of success with these delectables. It's worth a try, but it hasn't been my go-to. Now, every cat should have a high value treat. And what that high value treat is, is going to be determined by your cat and what they really love. So this high value treat should be only used on special occasions for claw trims, medical appointments, if you have to give your cat medication, if you have someone coming like a cat sitter, only special occasions. And again, this high value treat might not be the top of the line healthiest treat on the market, but again, we're only using it on special occasions. So if your cat's high value treat, for example, is temptations, is temptations garbage? Yes, but is it your cat's high value treat and should you use that treat to your advantage? Yes. Maybe your cat's high value treat is churu. Maybe it's the Temptations version of churu. Maybe it's greenies. Maybe it's Frisky's party mix. This is my cat's high value treat. It's just straight tuna in these little packets. She gets it for claw trims when she sees the vet and when the cat sitter comes. Or maybe your cat's high value treat is actually a healthy treat like dehydrated or freeze dried chicken. That's awesome. I love that for you. I love that for your cat, but it's not going to work for every single cat, unfortunately. Another thing that I use quite often that they don't sell at PetSmart is human baby food. This is used to stimulate a cat's appetite. You can put it on top of wet food or use it by itself. It's amazing. It's not something that's going to sustain their health. It's literally just to get them to eat something. I prefer Beech Nut brand because it literally has just these two ingredients. You should also have a high value wet food that you use to your advantage. One way to use this food is to use high value wet food in food puzzles when you're trying to get cats to get along. Again, it has to be high value, not their regular old food. There is scientific research that this is effective. PetSmart only has these two options. I encourage you to look elsewhere for more variety. Don't waste your money on any of these products. They do not work. Instead, buy wand toys and high value treats and wet food. So I will repeat again and again, because I know people are gonna come for me. If you can get your cat to eat the highest quality food, I encourage you to do so. But let's remember that the lowest quality wet food is always going to be better than the highest quality dry food. And remember, our cats should be fed at least five small meals a day. I wish y'all would stop arguing with me on this. We've known that cats eat multiple small meals a day since the 70s. All right, y'all, I got some new varieties of wet food for my cat because reminder, cats want a variety. If you are always team cat, follow me here. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all wild at heart cats. You can hire me for one-on-one -on -one consultations wildatheartcats.com.